welcome back. And today, just a quick video about these. Now these are helicoils, and why I need one, or need them, is because a couple of weeks ago, me and John fitted some heated grips to my bike, and while I was trying to put the seat back on, I stripped the threads that hold my seat down. Now, it bolts directly into the rear subframe, and it was a case of either 500 pound on a new subframe, <coughs> excuse me, which isn't an option, or repair the threads that I've damaged. So that's the way I'm going. Now in the kit, it's it's 35 pound I paid for this. You can buy cheaper ones, but yeah, I, I went with the original helicoil. Now you get your drill bit, your tap, your insertion tool, and your little breaker. And so obviously you drill out the damaged hole or the damaged threads, then you make sure it's straight, bit of cutting, bit of cutting oil or WD-40, that's what I use, and you tap out the new thread. Now the, the thread pitch and, and size on this, on the tap, it is exactly the same as the outer diameter of the helicoil. Now, once you've tapped your thread, you get your insertion tool and you pop it inside your helicoil like that and there's a little little spigot sticking out there with a break off point. I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but um, there's a, a little break off point here. And once you've, you can put some, before you insert it, you can put a bit of Loctite on here as well. Um, and you just turn it in like so, pull it out and make sure the top of that thread is just below the surface of what you're screwing it into. Then you get your break off tool, push it in and break off that little spigot there. And being, being that they're stainless steel, they're, they're, like I said before, they're stronger than the, the aluminium that you're screwing them into. And at least this way, I haven't got to try and put a bigger screw into a, a tapped out hole, I can still use the same screw that I used before. So the next part of the video will be me fitting these bloody things, which should be fun. Maybe a lot of swearing, I don't know. But yeah, let's get cracking. Right, welcome back. And this is gonna be the follow-up part of the helicoil repair. Now, this hole here and this hole here, the threads are, thri uh, the threads are stripped. So, as you can see, they're next to useless. So, what I'm gonna do is drill these holes out and replace them with helicoils so I can still use this same screw. Okay? Right. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by applying a little WD-40 to the hole, just so I can drill it out. Get my drill. Keep it as level with a hole as possible. Be all right if I tighten it up. As easy as that. And this side. As easy as that. Get rid of the swarf. That's all good. Um, where did I put them? Here we go. Now, got my tap. 
get a bit of WD on that. A bit more in the hole, never hurts. Then try to keep this straight as possible. Right, well, I've just had to use my drill slow because me. I haven't got a proper tap holder, which I should have really. Um, but never mind. Right, so now I've got the helicoil on the insertion tool. And just to be on the safe side, doesn't really need it, but put a little bit of thread lock on that. Just a tiny amount. Don't need to go overboard. And then insert the heli coil, just keep screwing, and in it goes. And like I said before, you want to get that last thread just below. Right, so. Thing is I haven't got a very good zoom but um there you go don't know whether it'll focus down that so as you can see there's the old heli coil inserted now break off tool just push it in and off it goes that's it it's done so now, I know everybody's gonna, everybody's gonna comment, oh my God, don't use that drill. Like I said, some WD-40. Some in the hole. And keep it as level as possible. And because this is a tapered bit, it's quite easy to do. And it's only going into soft aluminium, so that should be okay. And again, insertion tool onto that, get the heli coil on it. Just run a tiny amount of thread locker on it. This one. Blue Loctite 248. Then zoom back in. Then push in. Let it find its own way. There it goes. And like I said, just get that last coil just sitting underneath. See, look, that one is just sticking up just a tad. So, another half a turn. And it's gone. It's in. Then, break off tool in again. And push. And there it goes. All held in. Right, and then now, Original bolts can go back in nicely, and these threads will be stronger than the originals because they're stainless steel, not aluminium. So, yeah, hope that's all right for you. And um, I'm going to clean up, get all this crap off, and put my seat back on. Right, thank you for bearing, bearing through that. Um, so yeah, all you need is your helicoil kit, your drill bit, which it all, if you buy the kit, it all comes ready for you. You just need to know what size uh, thread you're replacing. 
um, a bit of Loctite if you need it, and a decent tap holder, because I haven't got one, so hence my drill. But it went okay. Um, probably not the best way to do it. But um, yeah, and you use your spanners and that to get your bolts out and put them back in. So I um, hope that's okay for you. And now the weather's picking up, we should get more videos out. So, um, look, thank you for watching. Ride safe, and I'll see you again on the next one.